Okay, so there are actually two events in the game right now, and I only have a couple of days to actually finish them, so it's time to speedrun them. So let's actually just go straight ahead, okay? Get straight into it. Alex accepts the first quest and get along with it. So yeah, also the goal is to try and get the uh, secret pet from this, because this is going to be a really, really good pet to get, especially for this account. And if we have more time, we could also progress further, learn 30 quests, and try and get even more loot. Well, the other one is the um, the St. Patrick's Day event, which can give us a lot of loot. So every two hours, I will definitely be hitting up that shrine. Although I've just recently done it. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, I actually haven't even done with the first Noob to Pro series video because uh, I don't have the Phoenix, even though I have almost 16 days, not hours, days of playtime. I just physically can't hatch it. So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to start this video and the night... I'll just AFK grind opening eggs to hopefully get that. Hopefully before I'm finished with this video, otherwise that'll be kind of weird. But yeah, so I'm also going to be doing that. But I've only got a couple of days left to actually do these quests. So we got to basically do both at the same time now. So yeah. Oh, and uh, I actually didn't even know there's another chest over here. I probably have missed like so many chests from the first video. I thought I got all of one. Unless these are completely brand new, but I'm still probably missing some, to be honest. I, I think I've got the majority of them low. Okay, and we're done with the first request. It actually didn't take that long, it's just kill slimes and giant slimes. Yeah, that's easy. Next up is snowmen. So yeah, I am actually going to have to like, take a little bit of a break from doing these quests to actually make a brand new team, because uh, later down this line, we're actually going to get to like the fishing part, which is very, very grindy, so we're definitely going to want a team for that, so... I think sooner or later, preferably sooner right now, I'm probably going to have to go ahead and make a fishing team, and I might as well also give them a um, shrine as well. It's like basically just act as really, really good pets for while I'm AFK fishing, and while I'm also like claiming the shrines, because I need to claim them as much as possible. Especially, like I said, that uh, new event shrine. That one gives me such like good drops, especially the luck potions. Uh, uh, and again... I need them for the Phoenix, I, I just can't get it. <laughs> and of course, while we're also doing all of that, we're going to be just crafting as many mystery eggs as I can, so when it does come to nighttime I'm asleep, I can just AFK grind these eggs. So we're going to have to need a lot of rare cubes and uh, normal mystery eggs, but m normal mystery eggs, we, I think we actually have a, a pretty decent amount. Oh yeah, we have way more mystery eggs than capsules so, or cubes so i have to make a lot of cubes but we should be fine and second request done and the third one is uh oh boy this is where i start getting into bosses now my team is just mostly for damage i'm pretty sure yeah dam damage and looting we definitely could like go out of a way to like make a complete like nice boss farming team so i can just afk bosses but we aren't in like the need of that right now we just want to try and get from as fast as possible because like i said these are only here for a couple more days, so I gotta speed run, speed run them as fast as possible. Wait, am I dumb? Did I even need to do King Slime or did it say King Crab? I uh, might have just autopiloted and just come to the wrong boss. <laughs> uh, oops, but I mean, hey, at least uh, I get rid of it really fast, right? And my team like isn't even like the best. I can still like make shiners, but again, we don't like really need to make lows yet. And yeah, I uh, read that wrong. That is King Crab. That is not King Slime. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, like these quests, requests, like aren't like super difficult. They're just really time consuming, which is the only problem. Like doing this on my main account with like the like my, my best pets, way better pets than I have on this account. And also I spend Robux on my main account. But uh, yeah, that took me like 21 hours to do just up to 30. So, it probably will take me a little bit longer to do this one. Also, yeah, by the way, for like the boss strategy, you just stand in this corner and you can actually time the jumps perfectly. Although, if you want to, you could get lifesteal and you can just completely AFK this fight, but we're trying to like, be efficient right now, not like super lazy until we get to the fishing, because I can't really speed up fishing at all, to be honest. And first cracking down. Now we could. We could just wait until the timer comes back, or we could just use a tome. But since I also have to like kill crabs and king crabs, we might as well just go to crabs now because uh, king crabs might take a while to actually spawn in. So by the time I actually get like one of them, the boss might have like already spawned in, even though I have got 
quite a few, yeah, quite a few respawn tomes. Oh, well, um, I blinked and I actually did 50 crabs and three king crabs at the exact same time, so nice. I guess I can now just go and start farming the boss fights. Also, I think that took me like two minutes. That is the fastest like three king crabs I've ever seen, but I'm actually, well, actually it's like 40 minutes I gotta wait. Uh, I'm gonna go work on the teams, okay? Because like I said, these shrines are actually better spawn in soon, so we need the shrine team starting, and we're also gonna be, like eventually start fishing. So I think it's best we start going for the actual like pet teams that I want to just try and grind as much loot from these shrines as possible. Especially you, because uh, oh, oh boy, uh, gold cherries and um, I was gonna want to call them black cherries. What they're called again? Void cherries, I think. Yeah, we need to try and get as many of these as possible. These are so so good especially for grinding shiny pets for the shiny uh index and uh, yeah i'm actually like not too far off from completing discover 100 pets and discover 40 shiny pets so definitely should do that okay so the team that we're actually going to go for for the fishing and trying teams we might as well go with all of the youtuber pets right and then we might as well throw in an m because these pets are never like going to be useful like doing damage like killing bosses and stuff so they can be really, really weak. It doesn't really matter. So we can actually go with like some of the cooler design ones and we might as well go for the YouTube ones, right? So anyway, let's start and try and give them fishing. We actually have enough, oh, almost, almost enough shrine runes, but I have almost like no seafarer runes. I don't have enough to like make the entire team a uh, tier four at the very least. So I think I'm going to try and go for fishing two or three on as many of them as possible. And then we can use the runes to just get them to fall. Okay, well, uh, that rooster one is pretty darn good. It would be nice if I had the higher fishing one, but I'm not going to complain about this, okay? So now we can move on to the next one, which might also do gravy, okay? So come on, just give me fishing and shrines first try, okay? I mean, it would definitely speed these things up a little bit, and it would save me a lot of jelly because... This took me a long time to grind for. If I can try and keep as much as possible, I will. But yeah, it doesn't really matter because we have so many mystery scrolls. There's no way I use all of these like anytime soon, right? Okay, we got fishing free. Looting too obviously isn't what I planned for, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of that. But that's completely fine because I have got like quite a decent amount of shrine runes, so I don't have to like worry about that too much. So fishing free low, I will gladly take. And now for the bright pet. Let's just try and get fishing or shrine on you, okay? Okay, so I somehow got fishing five. That, nice. I, I mean, that, that is great. Unfortunately, you can't actually roll for five tier of abilities with just the jelly. You only can get them from scrolls. So uh, yeah, that is actually really, really good. And the last one is going to be the imp. So hopefully we also get fishing five on this one. That would be really, really helpful. I'm just saying. Okay, Seafarer 2 is pretty good, but I think we can do better. Okay, and there we are. We've got Seafarer 3. I think 3 is pretty good, and now we can just give it a voice roll to get rid of looting. And now we can just basically use all of my shrine runes. We could roll for shrine, but I'm probably not really going to be able to, like, make any more shrine teams. Unless we get, like, a null or, like, plus one pet equipped later down the line. So, I think it's safe to use all of these. Okay, and that is the Dominus pet completely maxed out. And that is Russo maxed out. The Bright pet is maxed out. And now just for Gravy, which uh, yeah, actually doesn't have any shrine abilities, but that's fine. I still have like plenty left over, so I'm actually not too worried about that. And all I gotta do now is just give you one fishing rune, and that's basically it. Now, I, I will say... I can make some of them like tier 5, we have got two prismatic scrolls, I don't know if I really want to use them on this low, like just for fishing, I think we should probably leave them at 4, although I'm definitely not going to complain about getting a tier 5 on one of them, I mean I'm really happy with that. Oh and actually perfect timing, the black market just restocked and uh, yeah these trends are actually just about to restock as well, so let's actually go quickly check out the black market, we definitely want to like put all of the money that I've grinded for to good use, okay? We have like almost 80, eight, no, 800 billion, sorry. And yeah, that's what we really like to see. The knowledge scrolls, like, 
I, I guess I can take them, and I will take them, but it's not like I really need them. Like, especially like these pests, these pests don't need to be level 25. There's nothing like that benefits me from leveling these up. It doesn't increase their abilities. And well, now that I got my uh, shrine and fishing team done, let's just go straight for the uh, boss now. I mean, yeah, I could wait for it to respawn, but there's no point. I honestly thought it would take me a lot longer to get, but uh, yeah. I guess it's a lot easier when you only have two abilities to work with compared to shinies, which you have three possibilities, but I don't really have like any good sh shinies right now. So, yep, yeah. right back on to uh, grinding the requests. Hopefully, it doesn't take me too long because, <laughs> like I said, I really want to try and get that secret pet. And only having a couple of days to do so, I have to grind so, so much. Oh, I completely forgot about the tickets. I should probably go use these. I mean, in this video, since we're grinding a lot of loot, I might as well like grind as physically as much loot. So uh, yeah, also I have never like really used this shrine on this account. Probably should do that. But also if I'm going to be doing mini games, should I make a mini game pet? I mean, I've got three gamer runes. I just need to try and get gamer two, which is actually pretty rare. I I, I might as well. I might as well. Oh, and we finally got Gamer 1. I would have preferred to get Gamer 2, so I didn't have to like use as many of my Gamer rooms trying to get to Tier 4, since I can't get to Tier 5 unless I use the uh, Allure Scroll, which definitely isn't worth doing it in this case. But I will go ahead and max it out really fast, okay? So there is Gamer 4. And I think for the second ability, we're probably going to want Looting. So let's just try and roll for Looting now, and hopefully we get it pretty fast. No? Oh wait, actually, do I just have like a- yeah, I have a lot of looting rooms. I mean, looting rooms are pretty easy to come by. I might as well just use four of these, right? And then while we're here, because I'm pretty sure my uh, coin multiplier actually goes into account for playing mini games, we might as well max level it, right? Which is also why I'm not choosing to like pick a weaker, weaker pet for this specific uh, mini game pet, although Later down the line, I'll probably get an even better one. Like, eventually it's going to get to the point where my t entire team is filled of secret pets, and I have some extra secret pets, or actually I should say shiny secret pets, so learn one of those extra secret pets we can use for the minigamer. So, uh, yeah, that's why I don't really want to waste the prismatic scrolls right now, because down later down the line, I it's going to be, like, more beneficial for me to, like, save them for that. But anyway... Let's get started with the mini games because I want as much loot as possible. So hopefully, I can get some really, really good loot. Okay, it looks like our first one. We didn't get anything like super grip, but I mean, hey, I'll take the gems. Okay, and we're done with all the mini games. I used all my tickets, so yeah. Fortunately, didn't get anything like super, super rare. I think the rest thing I actually got was a respawn turn, which is all right. But anyway, now all of the shrines will. Most of the one hour shrines should be uh, restored by now, okay? So we can actually go ahead and claim all of them. But partially low, shrine did not activate there, so I didn't get any more tickets from that one. But hopefully it applies for the gem one, right? I need as many gems as I can get. It also didn't work. What the heck, man? It, it didn't work at once! What? What is the rarity of even like getting this off? So at uh, four, it's a 13% chance for plus one. And all of them have it, so, uh, yeah, that is pretty unlucky, <laughs> damn it. Oh, well, let's just progress with the request, okay, because we're uh, only just getting started, and we've almost been here for like an hour, and I'm only starting the fourth one, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, again, just a little grinder. And actually, while we're doing all of this killing, we might as well activate some uh, coin potions, just so I can maximize the money I get. Even though I already have a lot, but if we want a lot of prismatic scrolls, uh, which yes, I have got 16, like almost 16 days played, and I don't have that many prismatic scrolls because most of the time I've been just grinding for the mystery eggs or just using them. So yeah, I haven't really been checking out the black market that much previously, but since I have a lot of money now, we definitely will be every time that it is restocked, so our money can just completely get drained if I'm not, like, keeping on top of it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the prismatic slimes. That's a pretty decent amount of elite eggs, although, uh, yeah. Doesn't really help me when I need, I don't know, maybe just an allure of 50,000 just to guarantee that I get the phoenix. And even then, it's still not 100% guaranteed. 
Okay, and we're just about done with this one. So the defeat part of this request was actually really, really easy. The damage part though took me a lot, and I mean a lot longer. Also, really, it says 10 million out of 10 million. How is it not done yet? I must be like a thousand damage or something, but hey, we've finally done it. Now, let's go back to Omaka and get a new quest. Hopefully, it's not fishing yet. I think there's one more, and then it starts going on to fishing, maybe? Okay, uh, that is a lot of defeats. And also, I gotta do uh, both bosses now. Okay, this one's gonna take me a little bit longer. Oh, it's shrine time. So let's put on the shrine team and pray we get something really, really good. Now, there are paintbrushes from here, which is basically just like to recolor your mounts, which I guess is kind of cool if you want the rainbow mounts, but I don't really need them. But if I get them, I guess I can save onto them. But. Hey, our first one is actually really good, and we actually got an extra drop, so that is pretty good for our first shrine for, for this video. I've already hit up quite a lot already. Okay, and we're finally done with request five. Those king crabs took quite a while this time, but hey, I think it's fishing now. It is fishing, which is going to be a lot easier for me because this is way more AFKable, or it will be after I buy one thing really fast. Okay, so let's go to sunset because... We are definitely going to be spending all of my gems on auto fish. Oh, wait, it's actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was. Oh, never mind. Spending a tiny bit of my gems. Yeah, uh, I was actually saving most of my gems for auto fishing because this is by far the best thing in the game that you can buy. It's basically mandatory because auto fishing is so much better than trying to like do this manual. It, it just is not fair. Anyway, for like catching fish, it doesn't really matter where we go. So. Might as well go to the starting area and just get to work on this. Oh no, I completely forgot. It won't let me fish because I haven't started the fishing quests. No, I have to go back and actually start those. I was saving them for a separate video, but uh, yeah, I actually need to start them to actually get a fishing rod. So I think we're going to have to do a detour really fast, okay? And I'm going to go complete all of the old sailor's requests just to get the best fishing rod, just to speed up the strange requests ones. Although, um, yeah, I think that the leaderboard actually spawns in once we've done all of the old sailor's requests. We're not going to work on those. That'll be for the separate video. But yeah, we're going to have to quickly go ahead and uh, do all of these old sailor requests. I need a really good fishing rod. So, uh, okay. You have to do a little detour. This is going to make this uh, strange request take a lot, a lot longer. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, request number six is finally done. Also, we're making pretty good progress on the rods. Okay, we're about to get the silver rod, which, uh, yeah, is kind of taking a while. I mean, kind of funny how I might have finished, like, the request six before even getting the silver rod. But, hey, we're, like, a one epic fish away. And yeah, uh, we're definitely going to do the Silver Rod way before Strange Request 7 because, oh my gosh, 150 rare fish, that might take me like two hours, like minimum maybe, unless I get really unlucky and it might take me even longer. Oh, the shrine is ready. Please give me some more luck potions, okay? I would really appreciate this for trying to get that legendary pe pets. And we didn't. I mean, I got some normal lucky potions. But, yeah, nothing, like, super great. I, like, at the least want cherries, okay, but uh, it's fine. Okay, and with this, we're finally past the halfway mark. And, uh, yeah, now we gotta go get legendary and epic fish. This is, uh, also gonna take quite a while. But, hey, at least we're about to get the golden rod in a few more rare fish. Okay, and request number eight done. Also, I can actually go claim my golden rod as well. So, uh, yeah, fishing's gonna get a little easier. Although, uh, oh, oh boy, oh, oh boy, 200 rares is actually really rough. Oh, how could I forget the shrine? Please give me a lot of good loops. I mean, it's pretty good loot. I don't think I've got any extra rolls low, unfortunately. Okay, and moving on to request number 10, and this should be the last fishing one, I think. I think the next one is starting to capture pets, which uh, 
is really, really easy. It's just a little tedious when it's the legendary ones. Here low, yep. I mean, this is pretty easy. Just really grind it. Oh, and how could I forget? The shrine has respawned once again. I got no extra drops. I, I mean, hey, the lucky elixirs are actually really, really good. I'm not going to be using them for a while because I finally got the phoenix. So the first video is actually done. I actually don't think I mentioned it yet, but uh, yay, the first video is done. It only took me like 16 days. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Request 10 actually didn't take me that long as I thought it would. Also, it definitely helped that I got a couple of quick fishing, so I'd love to see that. But let's start on the 11th one, which here yeah, is catching, which is so easy. Like, this this is going to be a breeze. Once we, like, are finished with all of the 15 requests low, then it's going to start getting a little bit more grinder. And actually, since we are catching now, I think it's time we unlock the auto AFK, which, uh, yeah, I didn't buy immediately because I wanted the fishing first, but I completely forgot how cheap the fishing one was in terms of how much I have. But now that we have AFK, we can just go to this, go to Pets Park, and then just filter any, and I think we're just good to go. So yeah, this is uh, pretty nice. I'm actually really glad they added in an AFK option because this would become pretty slow otherwise like trying to do all of this manually yeah i'll afk okay and yeah we're uh, already done with request 11 that's just how easy it is okay with the afk so now let's go ahead and uh, get our next one i mean yeah that didn't even take like five minutes it took like maybe two minutes that's just how easy that one is obviously the lower is going to get a little bit tougher because that's like the start of the catching ones and especially when it comes to catching legendaries, I'm probably going to have to do a lot of server hopping just to speed up the process. But hey, there we are. 40 pets, 40, uh, 20 rare pets, and 20 pets in mellow. This one also is pretty easy. Might take me a little bit longer for the rare pets because um, I might go ahead and capture all of them in a specific area. But I can just AFK three areas at once. Okay, and request 12 done. And yep, seems uh, pretty easy still. So back to AFKing, which, uh, yeah, I think we just want rares, right? By the time we catch 50 rares. Oh, and epics. We can do epics last, I guess. But we, we'll, we should be able to find a lot of epics, right? Throughout the entire area of the game. I think we can find 10 pretty fast. So I'll just AFK it to rares. Okay, we're done with request 13, and it actually took me a little bit longer than I thought it would have because I left it AFKing in the wrong area. I did not read the quest right, saying that to catch 25 rare pests in a specific area, so I just set it to like as many places as I could. And then for the epics, I decided to hop servers pretty easy. But now for 14, the second to last one, and yep, also looks pretty easy. Okay, and now to move on to the last strange request, which will give us all of this juicy loot. And yeah, the perfect cube is going to be such a big uh, item for us to get on this account because if secret spawn is practically impossible unless I get like the dumbest look ever. So we're going to like save this perfect cube for the secrets, which I have seen some spawn on this account. Just overnight while I wasn't at my computer, so I ended up missing them. But they do spawn, okay? They do. Anyway, let's start on this last one, which uh, might take me a little bit longer. The legendaries, I'm probably going to do a couple of hopping servers for that one. And we're done with request 15. It took me like an hour to capture all of the epic pets and about like 30 minutes to capture all of the legendaries. I just hopped so many servers, but hey... I have a lot of loot now, so all I gotta do now is grind 15 more Sentinel quests now. We'll move on from the strange requests, and I can get this really powerful secret, which, once we do get it, I will definitely be making it shiny immediately. Oh yeah, and the shrine is ready, so let's go hit it up. No extra ones, really. These shrine powers are not working at all for this pot of gold. It's been, like, happening to all of the other shrines, just not the one that I actually wants it to get boosted on but i mean that's still fine so yeah like i was saying low this perfect cube is huge on this account i will be saving it low for secrets i i mean i guess i could use on some like really rare like shiny legendaries but i think i should like just purposefully use it on just secrets and nothing else because if i want like a shiny legendary i can always grind for the golden cherries especially because I have a butt ton of them. And wait, actually, I can just quickly do those sell 1,000 fish right now because, uh, yeah, I haven't sold any fish on this account yet since I've started fishing. So, uh, 
Yeah, I actually don't even have to sell all of them if I don't want to. I could just sell my trouts. But I wanted to quickly bring up that if you have like an legendary and epic fish, it's definitely worth locking them so you don't sell them. So you can see I've actually locked all of these ones because they sell for gems. Now what we're actually going to wait for is for the Fortune mini event to spawn. Then we can sell them and get even more gems for them. So that's the idea behind it. That's why you want to save them. Someone recommended it to me while I was actually streaming, which is uh, why I've been locking all of them. Not sure why that actually gave me some gems low, because all of the ones that were unlocked, I don't think sold for gems. So maybe if you just sell so many at once, you just get gems either way. I'm not going to complain about it, low. Anyway, now to AFK fish for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, hopefully. Actually, maybe a little bit longer than that. And Sentinel number one done. That definitely took a while, but hey. It was mostly AFK, so I don't really mind too much. And yeah, we're going to go right back to AFK because uh, 50 epic fish is going to take quite a while. And with this, we finished Sentinels number two. Also, my shrine should be ready to claim again. Hey, we actually got an extra drop this time. Nice lucky elixirs, super lucky elixir, and gold cherries. Nice. But kill him. Let's go turn in Sentinel number two and claim our third quest, which, uh, oh boy. It's probably going to be fishing, and that means it's also going to be grindier than the one we just did. And oh boy, it is. G great, great. This is uh, not going to be fun. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, well, I already turned in the Sentinels free quest. I just forgot to hit record. I'm such an idiot. But hey, now we're on to Sentinels 4, which catch a thousand fish is pretty easy. Catch 50 legendary fish low. Um, Yeah, if I'm really unlucky, that might take me a little bit longer than a thousand fish okay the fifth sentinel quest should be my last fishing one i hope and uh yeah 75 legendary fish i guess i'll see you guys in a couple of hours oh actually my shrine should be done oh i see a glow is ready and we got an extra drop nice void cherries obviously aren't as good as normal regular gold cherries but i mean we can still use them on all of the shines that we have, and we have quite a few extras. Although, 35 void ones might be a little bit too much. So I guess I should start catching just every shiny I see, just to use my void cherries, I guess. Oh, the shrine's ready again. Okay, give us some good loot, please. I mean, didn't get any extra ones, but high roller, I'll actually take. And also, a King Craig spawned in. I'm actually not going to kill that, because... um. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to actually kill a couple of king crabs. If I just leave this spawned in here, I can come back to it later. Anyway, let's go ahead and sell our fish, which luckily I actually had more than 1,500 fish. And now we can turn in Sentinels 5 and get our sixth one, which I think is... Is it catching or is it killing things? I'm going to say killing things. Nope, it is actually catching. Okay. 250 pets isn't the worst in the world, so okay. Okay, Lynn, how many pets do I got to capture on Sentinel-7? Okay, that is easier than the last one. Okay. And on to Sentinel-8. Okay, a little tougher for the 25 epic pets, but 275 normal pets, I just did 300, so nice. Okay, and on to Sentinel-9, and if you can't tell, I'm getting really tired now, but hey, I'm pushing through, we're almost done, and I probably have less than like 12 hours to actually finish these, okay, before this event is gone, so I will hopefully get the secret pet, but we might not do any more of like the future ones that give us even more rewards, because I don't think I'm gonna have time, and I don't have time because I also want to go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, we're just about done with Sentinel-9, so now we can go ahead and start on Sentinel-10, which should be the last, uh, hatching, not hatching, catching. It would be nice, though, in the future if they potentially add hatching on top of the catching quest, because, I mean, hey, open up mystery eggs is a little bit easier, so why not, am I right? Anyway, we're on to the last catching one, which, uh, yeah, 7 legendary pets honestly isn't that bad. I am just going to be server hopping a lot. 77 epic pets on the other hand. 
is pretty brutal. However, before I do any of that, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, the shrine is respawned. It is. Okay, come on. Some good loot. I didn't get any extra loot, but it's fine because uh, the gem and the mystery egg shrine are also done. So we love to see that. Oh, for the first time in a while, we got a new shiny that spawned in. So I'm going to quickly try and capture this legendary. Okay, fairy. Stay the heck in the cube, okay? And then we'll go capture that. Also, I went to sleep. I got like a four hours of sleep, I think. I basically just took a nap. So I have like about six hours left to try and beat this event quest. Also, I just need one legendary. So we're going to go to Gloomy to try and get the spider, which uh, it's only a rare. I, I think a legendary cube should just capture it immediately. But uh, I got to be careful. I actually don't know if the perfect cube has a warning screen in case you misclick it. So if I just accidentally click this, I might just lose it. So I'm praying that there's a confirm page, but I don't know. So gonna try and just avoid that button entirely. Hey, we got it, nice. Although I still can't do anything. And even if I get, actually wait, no. Does the secret pet we get for completing Sentinel-15 also apply to discover? 100 pets it might but either way it's only like one or two more pets anywhere okay and this should be the last legendary i need as long as it stays in the cube if it doesn't i might cry also i just realized because i went to sleep and ev even if i didn't go to sleep because i've been like helping servers for the legendary pets i just realized that king crab that i uh, had spawned in isn't going to exist anymore so that is going to be a little bit annoying to try and get an extra king crab to spawn in because they're like what one in 50 so they, they take a while okay but but hey once we capture this legendary now we're on to the defeat quest which should be a lot easier i think okay finally it's about time if freaking stayed in it is a little bit annoying uh that it actually updates the quests before you like physically actually catch it but it's fine also I gotta go claim the shrine because I completely forgot about it. No extra drops. Oh, we got prismatic paint low. I, I mean, I'm probably not really gonna use it for a long, long, long time if I do plan to use it. Also, there is actually a UFO. Pets must deal 200 damage combined. What? Oh, I can't even enter the boss. Oh, I actually didn't know about that because. I guess on my main account, I've always had pets that do mo way more than 200 damage, or 2000 damage, whatever it was. Uh, we actually don't have the UFO. I could go for it, but I mean, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, let me go claim these shrines. No oh, I didn't re-equip my shrine team. Damn it! Okay, let's just move on to the defeat quest, okay, before I just completely screw everything up and maybe even like delete something or use my perfect cube i i will cry if i use my perfect cube by accident that is going to be a real pain but yep defeat free 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 enemies and deal 3.3 million damage yeah this is really really easy all we have to do for these because also it takes time for um monsters or the enemies to spawn in all we have to do is we just have to run from each area and just keep going forward. So here, we can just quit my damage team. Once all of the slimes are dead. Like, yeah, if we had, like, a mob rush mini event, we could just stay here. But since they're all dead, by the time they respawn in, we can just, like, move forward and defeat all of these snowmen, for example. So that's the strategy for, like, defeating a lot of enemies at once. And then once these are done, slimes might just start spawning in. But we might as well just go through the entire game, right? I mean, why not? Okay, except for crabs. We're not gonna kill crabs because uh, another king crab spawned on the server. I didn't even pay attention. I'm in a public server, so hopefully no one sends me a trade because I'm, I'm I'm not allowed to trade. Okay, I should probably turn that off if that's actually a an option. Oh, it is nice. Okay, well let's just turn that off. Nice. Okay, on to Sentinels 12. Please be king crabs already now, because I don't really want to just hold it. Because if I accidentally kill it, I'm gonna be sad. But no. Defeat 444 enemies, deal 5 million damage, and defeat King Slimes. Um, I don't think I have limit level 25 yet, so I might have to do a little bit more than 5 of them? Yeah, okay, well, we're gonna be here for just a little while, but hey, it's only King Slime. It shouldn't take me too long per kill. 
Okay, moving on to Sentinel 13. Probably King Slime again. Yeah, that's not too difficult, though. 500 enemies low might take me a little bit longer, but uh, yeah. Can we get the King Crab one sooner, okay? I really don't want to like, really be in a public server, to be honest. I prefer private servers. I don't mind, because if people are going to ask me questions, I generally don't have the chat open. But yeah, I feel like people are mad at me if I ignore them, even though... I don't have chat open and I'm AFKing, so don't want to make people mad. That's why I prefer VIP servers. Oh, uh, was not expecting that this soon. I got the pool ball. Nice. I don't actually know what the variants look like, the, the recolors. I don't think I've actually gotten a recolor like mount or whatever on my main account. So yeah, maybe that paintbrush might come in handy sooner than I think. I guess we'll see though. Okay, we're finally done with Sentinel 13, on to 14 now. Yep, this one's also pretty easy. So it's just the 15th Sentinel that I have to kill King Krabs. Okay, uh, I guess that's actually better than having multiple quests make me go my way to kill King Krabs because they're a little bit annoying. I completely forgot actually what number low. But anyway, seven Kraken should be pretty easy, especially because we can just like stay spot it the entire battle. 650 enemies low is uh, gonna be a little bit grinder. Okay, we're making some pretty good progress, okay? Unfortunately, I didn't actually already have level 25 on the Kraken, so I've had to like do like seven Kraken fights just to actually get it up to level 25. So yeah, it's taking me a little bit longer since I don't have like super, super strong pets. But anyway, we actually have the shrine spawning back in, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and uh, grab that. No extra luck, but 40 lucky elixirs? Don't mind if I do, but also, as you can see, we finally have a fortune event that I'm actually paying attention to. So now we can actually go to my inventory and we can unlock all of these gem fish and we can sell them to try and get as much and like maximize our profits. I mean, if we're grinding and spending like so much time trying to get all of these fish, we might as well get the most from them, you know? So anyway, actually, let me quickly go ahead and claim these shrines as well. I definitely will take as many gems. And now we can sell for 34,000, almost 34,000. Nice. Okay, that is, uh, I think, the most amount of gems I've ever had on this account. And it's not even close. Okay, back to grinding. Okay, and finally, on to the last Sentinel quest that I have to do for the god, not the god pet, the uh, secret pet. I, I am so sleep deprived. But hey, last one, okay. 10 Krakens, 10 King Slimes, 10 King Crabs, which we already have one spawned in, so let me go quickly kill that one, and I can finally go to back to my VIP server because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, whenever I'm like AFKing, I just feel bad if people are trying to talk to me and I'm just ignoring them practically because I'm just not paying attention to the game. Anyway, King Crab is done, but then we got to do 25 million damage and 1,000 enemies, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. The only difficult part about this really is the King Crabs, it could take me like 10 minutes it could take me like three hours if i'm unlucky oh well um was not expecting to get the kraken pet and i got it okay then nice i think it's actually like a pretty decent pet isn't it oh yeah it's actually pretty decent i think it's way better oh yeah it's definitely way better than the cerberus only by a little bit but because it's a secret i obviously will make it shiny and also just thinking about it i have the phoenix why am i not using the phoenix for like a damage pet like, these boss like, kills are taking like 5 minutes each because my pets are like pretty weak and I'm not using shiners. Also is... no, 3 minutes, okay. Well, I'll uh, do one more boss kill and then we'll go collect the shrine, but... Okay, was well, not expecting that. I am not complaining. So all I need now is one more pet and I've uh, discovered all 100s. And that's actually the maximum right now for normal pets until we add in the arcade update, which is maybe in like two hours so we gotta speed this up and the last kraken kill is finally done yeah that uh took me quite a while but hey now we can celebrate by going and getting my probably last shrine i might be able to squeeze one more in and hey we got an extra drop nice okay so now all we're gonna do is 1000 enemies and 10 king crabs so i think what the smartest thing to do is to grind the king crabs out first because if i'm really unlucky it might just take me a thousand crab kills just to get the king crab, so we might as well grind out the king crabs first, and then go for the enemies if there's any leftovers. Okay, and with this, 
we were finally done. It actually didn't take me too long to get the 10 King Crabs. I actually did it like within 250 kills, so I got pretty lucky, I would say. But anyway, we're finally done. And yeah, we definitely cut it pretty close. Uh, I would like to do more and try and get even more loot, because once I actually claim this, you'll see that there's actually now a leaderboard and I can get even more perfect cubes. I wish I did this a little bit earlier, but I wanted to finish the first video first, since you know I can't really upload this one until that one's done. I didn't want to get too much out of order, so uh, yeah. But hey, I will definitely be checking out the next event. It's just that for these events, I will go for like the main objective. It's just like everything else in the events, I probably won't go for. So like the secret pets, it's unrealistic for me to get them on this account. Unless I have an absurd amount of the, um, the prismatic mystery eggs, which we actually have one. And uh, yeah, might as well use it. Okay, come on, give me a secret straight away. Please? Please. I think we actually got one. <laughs> so, unless we do something like that, we probably won't get them. That is actually really, really lucky. I am uh, not going to complain about that. Okay, nice. But with that, we can also go ahead and claim this. But yeah, all on that low, I think the only other event thing that I probably won't go for is like the UFO hoverboard. If I get it, I get it. But it's, it's not really like what the goal of the this account is for. We want to complete everything in the game 100 percent other than the event stuff basically it's just like the main game parts but now that we're done it's time to start making our new best team so let's go ahead and equip all of our secret pets i'm actually not sure if the kraken is better than the infernal revenant because this pet is the best normal legendary in the game as of right now i think there's going to be more pets in the arcade update which Hasn't come out for me yet, but by the time this video goes up, it should have been out for a couple of days. But uh, yeah, I could actually make this shiny as well. But for now, we'll do the we'll do the Kraken, okay? Well, we finally have a full secret team, okay? I'm happy. So now, before we do anything, let's make them all shiny. We have so many golden cherries. I think we can actually make all of them. So here's our first one. Okay. Uh, that took like a good one third of our golden cherries, but hey... Nice. It, it looks so good, shiny as well. It looks so, so good. Next up is the Lucky Clover. Again, we're going to make these all shiny because these are going to be like our go-to damage pets. I'm not going to give them any enchantments as of right now, but once we like start working on the boss videos, like killing, I don't know, like a thousand King Slime and Krakens, whatever I, I'm going to do in those videos, I will probably not actually go for damage because uh, the shiny secrets have three charm slots. I think I'm going to go for High Roller. Probably going to give them a life steal so I can AFK the bosses since I'm going to be killing like a thousand of them. I might as well make it as less painful as possible to do all of them. And the last one we could go for damage or we could also go for a coin multiplier because the more coins we have, I mean, the better for the black market. Anyway, next up is the classic trio. Hopefully it just doesn't eat all 66 golden cherries. Nope, and I think we should have enough to make the Kraken shiny as well. Okay, perfect. Let's just get straight onto it. Actually, I'm pretty sure the Infernal Revenant is better than the Kraken. But it only took me three uh, golden cherries to make a shiny. Okay, nice. That is uh, something I will not complain about. Now then, we, we might as well make the Infernal Revenant shiny, right? We might as well, since we're already here, and I have quite a lot of extra golden cherries, or did have a lot of egg. Damn it, Infernal Reverence! Why? You greedy! Okay, well, at least we got a lot of uh, Void Cherries. We can actually just use these on all of our shinies that we aren't going to use, just to farm a lot of our golden cherries back. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and use as many of these as I can. And actually, I might have... um too many boy cherries. I don't think I have enough shinies to use all of them. I definitely don't, so I sh really should be capturing just every shiny I see now just for the boy cherries. They're such a good item. Okay, and the last shiny I have that I will probably never use, so let's use it. And yeah, I actually have only three boy cherries left, so actually pretty close to perfect, so I do not mind that, although all of those pets I just made normal, I'll probably delete it. I need as much inventory space as I can get. So now, let's go back to the Infernal Revenants. Now let's try and make you shiny again. There's no way it eats 87 golden cherries, right? 
Okay. It, oh, I I'm glad you only took like three that time. Okay, now if we have a quick look at my entire, like, best pets, uh, we definitely see that the Universe Sentin Sentinel, I can't say that in a row. I, I just physically can't. That is a really good pet, obviously. The Lucky Clover and the Classic Tree are pretty close. Actually, the Crackle's not too far behind, but the, the coin multiplier alone, that is really painful. And I mean, yeah, the uh, Infernal Revenant, although it is level 25, I think it's probably worth if I unequip the Kraken and put on the Infernal Revenant. Although, the Arcade update might give us another plus one pet equip. Hopefully, I guess we'll see. Because if you go to your uh, teams, you can actually see that there are eight slots. And if you're buying, uh, like, the um, plus three extra pet equip, you only get to seven as of right now, even if you pay to win for it. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, my team so far is looking really, really nice now. Definitely going to rework a lot of these charms. And like I said, I'm not going to worry about the charms right now because we aren't really going to be using them for a while. Although we're not done just yet because now that we've actually done all of this, okay, it's time to go on a spending spree. I definitely need eggs hatch plus one. I wish I bought this a lot sooner, but I just never got enough gems. And I mean, these we don't really need, but I'm also just buy them, so I don't have to like, worry about them in the future. I definitely sh should start saving up for um, the ticket storage load because... I definitely need more ticket storage. Seven isn't really enough because I always forget and I just end up wasting them. I think actually right now I have seven golden tickets just because I keep forgetting about them. So I, 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 just, I just never use them. So I need obviously just a bigger storage spot for all of them. All on that, I think I actually need to check out the uh, black market. I think it should have spawned in, I think. Oh, yep, definitely. Okay, taking those and we'll take these. I'm not probably ever gonna really spend gems on the black market unless i have an absurd amount like maybe like a million plus but for right now we're definitely not all on that low is there anything else in the game that i need to spend gems on oh yep there actually is one pet teams i don't really know why there's so many like pet teams like i don't think it's really necessary to have how many can i even make right now actually six i mean Cool, I have them. I'm probably not really going to use them. But all on that, have I actually bought everything I need to now? I think I might have. I just need to quickly go back now to like all of the previous areas because uh, there's probably one I'm missing. Unless I've actually got them all now. It might have just been the Gloomy Grotto gem little purchase thing I needed. And yep, yeah, I think I actually have them all now. So the only thing I need to work on now for gems is the... Um, Ticket storage. Okay, nice. I love to see that. Gotta say, even though the game like only just released and its first two updates were events, I mean, I will definitely take it, okay? I managed to grind like a good amount of loot. I cannot complain at all. I mean, the St. Patrick's Day event, the best item you could get is Prismatic Paint. I'm probably not really gonna use these really, but I mean, I got one, I guess, just to say that I, I have one. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use that. And yeah, now that we actually have a really, really good team, Wish I had like a team like this before I started doing all of the bosses because those were really freaking grinded. Well then last thing, okay, is to show off the internal stats. I think I actually forgot to show this off at the end of the last video, the first video, went over all of my stats, but uh, yeah, I think for this video alone, like just this one, to complete all 30 requests for like research, I think it took me like a little bit over 24 hours. I want to say maybe even close to like 30 hours, but yep, yeah, time played. 17 and a half days, time fished, half a day, oh, okay, that uh, definitely is something. <laughs> Currency earned, we've actually gone over a billion, and I mean, we've actually got half of that on me right now, practically. Cubes used, I mean, we don't really care about like stuff like this, like pest caught, yeah, that's whatever, that's whatever. Fish caught, we've also caught a lot. But I think the, the most important stats are probably the kills, honestly. I mean, you can see that we now have almost 50 kills on both of the bosses, but for just normal enemies alone, oh boy, oh boy, you can tell how much I've been AFKing, mostly for these freaking elite mystery eggs, because my gosh, they are a pain to get right now. There's like no monster that you can just comfortably AFK without them spawning in too far to get aggro aggroed onto you. So basically, it's either you um, just AFK the normal crabs, which don't give you elite mystery eggs and then you craft them 
or you have to like be at your computer playing non-stop but yeah learn that low all of the uh power-ups that we earned i'm not sure if anyone really cares about these stats but i might as well show them at the end of every video just so you know like how much i've actually spent grinding on this account because my gosh it is a freaking lot but yeah with that being said though uh we finally did it i think the next video i'm gonna work on is probably gonna be the fishing video where i fish for like i don't know like maybe 24 hours or longer depending on how long it takes me to actually get all of like the secrets pets from that uh reward because there actually is a like board quest type like this where i think i think it's either you have to complete 400 or 500 quests to get a secret pet or, or something like that might be a mount basically in the next video i will probably be working on that